breakfast beer. As if beer didn't already have enough calories in it, we're going to go ahead and stuff breakfast right into it. And I am here for it. I will drink every breakfast beer that I find. And we're drinking another one today. What is going on everyone? Josh here. And today we are drinking a can of breakfast mall. This is a barrel aged Imperial stout maple cold brew cocoa nibs, 11.7% ABV brewed and canned by high grain brewing company, Silverton, Ohio, which I believe is in the Cincinnati area. This beer was given to me by Draston and he's like, Hey, this is another brewery. We got to check out the next time you're down there, which should be in sometime April, hopefully. Fingers crossed we get down there in April, brew some beer with Third Eye Brewing Company. I don't know why that was slipping my mind, but yeah. So this sounds really good. Uh, Imperial Stout aged 10 months in Augusta Distillery bourbon barrels with vanilla, cold brew, coffee, and cocoa nibs. And Augusta Distillery is located in Augusta, Kentucky. Everyone, if you're watching this right now, give it a thumbs up. Augusta Distillery exclusively releases single barrel cask strength unfiltered Kentucky bourbon aged at a minimum of eight years. Now this artwork is nothing to, it's not going to stand out. Actually, I think the red and the yellow does a good job of standing out. Uh, it's actually pretty good for not knowing what it is, but it's, it's nothing spectacular over the top. It's basic, but I think it gets the job done. Let's crack this open. Let's pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, and see what it's got going on. Got my tulip glass out. We're giving her the hard pour treatment. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful cascading effect on the head. I love it. I love the color of the head. It's just got this nice dark tan coloring to it. Big bubbles there. It, it's got some lacing on the glass there, which I'm pretty excited about. Big bourbon notes on this. Big bourbon notes getting some of that cold brew coffee um, as far as cocoa nibs go slightly slightly a little bit of vanilla in there too i think the vanilla and the coffee are the two big mainstays uh the bourbon kick though is pretty front of front end of the nose on this one the sound it smells like it's gonna have some bite to it i'm just saying that 11.4 percent. i'm hoping it's not too bad but uh there's only one thing to do and we got to drink this beer. As always, on half ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> big bourbon, right? But that's not the first thing that you're getting. The mouthfeel on this is actually really good. It's really nice. It's not something that bogs you down. It's not super heavy. It does a really nice job of coating your tongue. There's maple. There's coffee. There's like a, a bitterness from the coffee there. That's pretty cool. A little bit of acidity in here, but it's almost a bourbon drink with these things in it. Let me take another drink. Let me, let me take another drink here. Yeah. Bourbon forward, coffee, vanilla, maple, cocoa nibs. It's all there. They can't, it's too high, baby. They can't see you. It, oh, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. It's the yard is already wet. I don't need to get the sprinkler out. She's, she's got a shovel, right? She's digging water out of the kiddie pool, telling me I need to mow the lawn and get the sprinkler out. And it's February, well, it's March now, but it's not time for any of that. This is a nice sipper, a very nice sipper. That bourbon is actually really nice in here. Uh, it's not as much of a bite as I thought it was going to be. It's almost got like a, like a, uh, like a bourbon and Coke kind of vibe to it. The way I'm drinking this or while I'm drinking this, it's giving me like a weird bourbon and Coke vibe. I don't know what the deal is with it, but yeah, the, after the, after the drink, you're left with a really nice bourbon kind of coffee feel to it. Maybe a little bit of like dark chocolatey vibes to it. Um, a nice little kind of bitterness from the, the stout coffee kind of conglomeration that's going on in your mouth. Solid, solid offering. Uh, this is my first beer from high grain brewing company, brewing sustainable culture. So they believe in community is the core of what they do by lowering their carbon footprint. They better the environment for their families, friends, neighbors, 
After all, it's the people we surround ourselves with who make life worth while. Good beer. For a good cause. The longer I can drink beer on this planet, the better my life's going to be. So I am, I'm all for that. What I like about this beer. So a lot of times now when you're getting a barrel-aged beer, they really hold back on the barrel, I feel like. You're getting a lot of the other things, and then the barrel might just be a slight accent on it. Where back in the old days, you'd get a barrel beer, and it was just barrel forward. The barrel was a boot, and your teeth is, is what it was aiming for, and it would just kick you square in the teeth, so you'd get a lot of that bourbon. And sometimes, especially if you're new to it, it you were taken aback by it. You're like, I don't think I like this. The, but the more you did it, the more you got used to it, the more bourbon you liked. And I think with the bourbon culture the way it is now, I think this beer is is probably aiming for them with how this tastes. Yeah, I don't know why, but that the cold brew coffee gives me like a cola vibe to it. Not a cola taste necessarily, but it's just like a bourbon a bourbon cola thing I got going on here. But it's, it's definitely bourbon, cold brew coffee, uh, cocoa nibs, vanilla, a little bit of that maple sweetness in here. It's just a solid showing of a beer. What don't I like about this beer? I gotta tell you, there's really not much that I don't like about it. I think the light mouthfeel on it might be the only thing I wish that I could change just give me something a little bit heavier a little bit thicker but other than that uh, there's nothing nothing really that I don't like about this beer if I sell rated beer on this channel a one through five uh, I'd probably get this like a three nine four this is good beer real good beer real good beer and uh I can't wait to finish this thing which I'm gonna do off camera because you don't need to watch a review that long. Now that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out a new beer from a new brewery with me, High Grain Brewing Company's Breakfast Mall Barrel Age Imperial Stout. Really, really kind of brought me back to the barrel age thing. Kind of like an old school barrel age beer approach towards the new bourbon community or so that I feel. Now, bourbon's really taken off and everyone's talking about bourbon this, bourbon that. I have a few bottles of bourbon, but I haven't quite gotten to that point in my life where that's what I want to surround my life with. If you're new to the channel, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Everyone, if you're watching this right now, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, you want to talk about barrel aged beers, let's do that down in the comments. Let's start that conversation about beer. But before you go, please check out my good friends, Banter and Babble, every Wednesday night on Twitch at nine o'clock for the best pop culture wrap up. And my other good friend, Drass and the Dungeon Master at Seven Dungeons on Twitch, Monday nights, seven o'clock for the best Dungeons and Dragons around. You'll not be disappointed. The links are down there. And always remember to please keep your fridges full and have a great night.